So this is the Banjan Saha, who is a equity analyst. So, uh, the Banjan, where did you study and what courses did you take? Okay, I did my engineering from Karnataka, and that was quite some time back. Then I did my MBA from Symbiosis Pune. And yeah, since then, last uh, since two thousand nine, last eleven years, I'm in the field of uh, equities. and uh, currently with ubs uh, which is a global bank so i work in their india office okay yeah so what motivated you to choose your passion so yeah so equity is a very interesting field if you look at it and uh, you know you keep hearing it on tv right now there is lot of awareness about equities when i was growing up it was not so much so you know what motivated to join me the field i would say was the company i was getting into more than uh, the profile because i think that once you start in a good company your base becomes strong because at a very young age you are not very uh, aware about what profile suits you or what you'd like to do or something like that so sometimes you figure it along as you move along so mm -hmm. when i joined i joined um, Morgan Stanley, and uh, they are obviously globe. I mean, the world's top investment bank. So Morgan Stanley actually, I joined, and then I liked the work because my boss was total work colleague about the work. So he was not someone who would sit in office, who would not be in office and give us work and leave. He, would, he, he was someone who was in office like twenty four seven. and mm -hmm. looking at him it motivated me that uh, you know that if he can work so hard and he was the time close to 40 which i am right now so i mean he he used to work so hard and uh, just looking at him it felt that wow if he can do so much we should push ourselves because we are much younger than he is so you know that kind of so the company was good the boss was good uh profile as i went along i found it to be interesting it was lot of uh, like analysis was involved lot of bit of coding was involved so that somehow challenged me because i was not good at math at all in spite of being an engineer i was not good at math i shirked away from math you know mm -hmm. how it happens in india that you just do it because you're doing it and you buy out many things and you move along so i did like that but uh, you know under this boss at morgan stanley i found lot of uh, lot of inspiration for doing a bit of a coding work doing a bit of a math related work which challenged me challenged my thinking i liked it and uh, then kind of uh, you know i got hooked on to this field which i'm doing but you know if you ask me initially there was nothing i knew much about equities but a person starting off now will know quite a bit about about equities then it was the case let's say 10 12 years back yeah. because of the awareness is high yeah okay so how do which organ okay you specified that so uh, how do you use technology and how do you think technology will impact your line of business oh i think everything everything is about technology everything yeah. is about technology in my in my line of business and i think any line of business right now especially mine lot of analytics is involved and the more you learn the better it is and uh, i'm taking an additional course on technology on my own uh, where i'm trying to learn some new new platforms etc so the field is immense and you can use your technological skills a lot to you know to enhance your work there's lot of competition at work so you know you have to understand that and you have to be on the right side of technology i mean it's not about only using whatsapp or something like that for communication it's not allowed anyways in our company but it's beyond that it's about using applications it's about using smart tools it's about using excel smartly which i don't know if you're exposed to excel right now at this age okay. but if you are then i mean if you are not then that's something you can start playing around with yeah uh so what skills should someone have to succeed in your field 
I think uh, I think lot of hard work. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Bit of luck also goes into it in any kind of career. So there are instances where people have started off with me, and you know, initially they were not doing that well, but they stuck onto an organization. So many many factors. Uh, skill is obviously one of skill is something which you grow as you as you grow along. So skill is something which you hone. I mean, it's not something which when you join the field you have skill. What you need to have is certainly hard work. And, and uh, I think one needs to have some bit of honesty about one's capabilities as well, and uh, you know, work within those limits which one has. Mm-hmm. And obviously, try to challenge yourself at every point in time. That if I can do X, it's like going to the gym. If the last time you ran, let's say five kilometers, you can challenge yourself to run six kilometers. You know, something like that. So. Yeah. You know, a bit of challenging yourself, so a bit of honesty about yourself, lot of hard work, slight bit of luck. I think, uh, yeah, I think you should be, you should be good, you should be good, yeah. And yeah. I think the ability to stick to an organization, which I did not, frankly, I should have on hindsight, but that helps, you know, because every organization has different things to offer, so it's better you stick on to that organization and. If you're doing well, if you're doing okay in that organization, don't leave it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how do you measure success? Success? Ah, uh, it's very difficult. I don't, I don't have an objective definition for success. If you're happy with what you're doing, if you're happy and if you're thinking about your work, see, I would, I would like to think of it in this way that if every night if you go to sleep happy about what you did, about the work you did, I think you're successful. It does not um, matter how much you earn or something like that. But I know it's going into a philosophical debate here. But I think if you're happy with what you're doing, with your, with the people around you, I mean, your colleagues, obviously, the people, I mean, not your house, because everybody is good to you in the house, but in your office and, uh, you know, if you're, if, if your boss is good to you and if you feel you know you're doing the right things and you want to challenge yourself in that role then i think you're doing well so every night you go to sleep you're going with with contentment that okay i've done well for today but i need to challenge myself tomorrow yeah yeah so doyle is around here my wife she's done a lot and i think you must hear her perspectives as well because she's in a very different and non-traditional field uh, from okay. all of us yeah okay sure so thank you Dipurjan. all uh, the best to you yeah all thank the you, best 